Well, to me, it's an enormous privilege uh, to be appointed to the Holdings Board. Uh, of course, in terms of the uh, overall responsibilities, uh, that would be enlarged because I will be involved in all the board discussions on the group's overall business rather than just Asia-Pacific. Uh, more specifically, of course, I will still give Asia-Pacific my primary focus because this is an area where the group wants to grow the business and this is also an area uh, where I have the uh, largest uh, responsibility. So, more or less the same, but uh, I will be more involved in the group's overall decisions. Well, that's many, many years ago, you know, when I was a student, uh, I was quite passionate about the society. I was quite passionate about the problems of the underprivileged in society. And I very much wanted to uh, do something to help. Um, but of course, life goes on and then uh, I move away from social welfare. Uh, I was a f social welfare worker uh, when I graduated from the university uh, back in 1973. But then, of course, now I'm in a commercial world. But the thing is, as I say it, both social work and the commercial work provide value to the society. In the social work field, of course, we provide service to the underprivileged and help them more directly. But in the business world, we create jobs, we make life better for people, we provide the right type of financial services to our customers around the world uh, so that they can prosper, so that we can create more jobs for uh, 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 in a lot of countries where uh, HSBC has operations. So both types of work have tremendous meanings. I still haven't changed in terms of my, my passion for, for welfare. Um, I still work uh, as a volunteer, but of course not um, not directly with the uh, disabled people anymore, but rather as a fundraiser or as an advisor or in, 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 other, in other capacities. So the things I'm doing today may be different, but uh, my sincere wish to see a better world uh, hasn't changed. Well, I, initially, yes, you know, when you were uh, a kid, uh, you could not run as fast, and indeed in the old days, Hong Kong wasn't a very uh, open and compassionate society. And people treat people with, with disability with some caution, you know, they, because they just don't know how to deal with disabled people, particularly the mental handicapped. But over the last 40 years, I have seen a lot of changes in this society. Uh, now we know a lot more about uh, people with disability and the society uh, is much more willing to accept uh, those people uh, into our lives. I've seen tremendous changes in people's attitude towards people with disability, particularly in the field of mentally handicapped in Hong Kong. Uh, yes, but it's not a big deal. It did create some problems, but to me it hasn't really affected me at all, after all. Well, we always say that uh, a bank cannot be more successful than its customers, basically. So the best thing is that we need to provide very good financial services to our customers. Um, if you want to be a successful banker, you have to know what your customers need and come up with solutions to, uh, to their uh, financial needs and then uh, provide them the right products at the right price. So I think that's the key, really. And of course, banking is not a one-man show. You have to work with your colleagues in various departments uh, so that you can provide a comprehensive service to your customers. So it's, uh, it's really teamwork, understanding your customers, and also working hard. <laughs>